Hey guys, welcome to another episode of this series of the book of Matthew. Today we're going over Matthew chapter 2. Grab your Bibles, follow along, and I hope you enjoy this short recap. The Savior has entered the world, but Jesus' parents weren't the only ones expecting him. Enter three wise men from the east. These three wise men followed the star in the sky and journeyed, potentially months after Jesus' birth, to find this newborn. They ended up in Jerusalem, hoping that the people and the leaders would be just as excited or even interested in this newborn savior as they were. The wise men end up in Jerusalem and they meet King Herod. Now King Herod was known as a great. He was a great ruler, administrator, builder, politician, and he was also great in his cruelty, which we'll find out later. You know those times when you're in school and you feel like you're caught up in homework and nothing can surprise you, but you show up to class and somehow your teacher says, put away the books, we're ready for a test. You try playing it cool, as you're putting your book away, you're getting a peek and you're trying to cram all four of these chapters into your test. This is how King Herod feels. He has no idea where this potential king of the Jews may be located. So he grabs the scribes and best chief priests and they work together and find out where this newborn could be located. They end up looking in Micah chapter 5 verse 2. They share this information with the wise men. Before the wise men leave, King Herod tells them one more thing. He says, when you find this newborn, let me know where he is so I can come worship him too. Being the trusting people that they were, they went with the intention of telling the king where he would find the baby. Now back in those days, it wasn't uncommon to bring gifts, especially to royal families. So as the wise men venture off to find Jesus, once they get in, they find the baby and his mother, Mary. They give gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And after, they fall down and worship him. The most important gift that they have, their worship. After their visit, the wise men were warned in a dream not to go back to the king. So they ventured home a different route. Now the wise men weren't the only ones warned about King Herod. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him to pack up his family and to move to Egypt. Once King Herod found out that the wise men hadn't returned, he set a decree to kill all the boys of Bethlehem under the age of two. So Joseph packed up his family and left to Egypt. Now we're unsure how long Joseph and his family were in Egypt, but it was long enough that King Herod had passed away his son had replaced him. So Joseph again was guided to move back. But instead of going back, they moved to a town called Nazareth. Out of this very hectic time for newborn parents, they chose to obey. And in doing so, fulfilled prophecy that this indeed was the Messiah. All right, before we're done, I want to leave you with three questions. The first one, when in your life have you ever felt that there was maybe too much going on, whether it's moving, traveling, school, or home. How did it make you feel? The second question, do you think it was easy or hard for Mary and Joseph to trust God during this time? And finally, just as the Lord guided Mary and Joseph in this very hectic time, where are some areas in your life that you would like God to take care of? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's short recap. I'll see you next week.